First off, with a film like Point Break, with, with the original film that is so iconic, what possessed you? What gave you this feeling that we can make something that carries on that spirit, but is also brand new at the same time? Well, the original Point Break is amazing. We all love it. Uh, Catherine Bigot did an amazing job with it. And for me, it was uh, my own relationship with the outdoors. I was a mountain guide for many years. And I love the outdoors and what it is to be an outdoor athlete. And I thought that there was something about the psyche of what it is to be an extreme athlete that we could bring to the story, as well as do it on a broader scale. Uh, the original Point Break was uh, about a group of guys uh, robbing banks for uh, endless summer. And we wanted to expand it beyond that and work with the extreme athletes and also talk about their relationship to nature and the places in which they commune with nature and challenge themselves within it and how they wanted to protect it. So we broadened the definition of what they're doing. Whether they're criminals or not is sort of for the audience to decide, but they're uh, trying to be a little bit more of Robin Hoods and trying to protect things more than anything. And also the story of Utah, which uh, in the original was great, but we wanted to expand it beyond that and go from uh, him as a child and talk about him and where he belongs in the world, which I think is a very universal tale beyond extreme athletes and a dramatic story that's uh, a wonderful theme for all of us to explore. One of the things that is readily apparent when you, when you look at that trailer is that this is not a green screen party. Uh, this is about as real as it gets. What were the challenges and what was it like coordinating with all the sports? Because we didn't even see uh, all the different sports that are in this movie. And the amazing thing about this film is we went to the actual places. Uh, it would have been a lot easier to shoot on a green screen stage in uh, one central location in New Orleans or somewhere like that. Um, but we opted to go to the real places because the locations are part of the characters. We shot in 10 countries around the world, uh, went to some of the most epic and beautiful places within them. And uh, the partnerships for me in the film were not just the locations, but the extreme athletes who actually led us to those locations. They were partners in it, not just in terms of being uh, part of who the characters became dramatically and also played parts in the film themselves, but also they picked the locations. Uh, Jeb told us about Wollenstad, uh, which he had flown and uh, made well known through an uh, insane amount of YouTube hits, uh, but also his incredible flights there. Uh, and we went to the places, uh, Hawaii, Laird's home, and many other places around the world because they were the best and most legitimate places to do the work. We wound up in Angel Falls because Chris Sharma told me to go there. Uh, so the athletes were really the ones who led us to the most incredible places on earth and, and cast the film along with me. One of the interesting things about action sports culture and extreme sports culture is that uh, these athletes are ridiculously passionate about what they do. They live these sports to, to, the, to the point where they invest all of themselves into it. And you would think that when Hollywood calls, you know, that they're naturally be like, yeah, we'll go and do whatever. But that's actually not the case. It takes a lot to get these athletes to, to feel committed to the idea that Hollywood is going to treat the sports in a, an authentic manner and that they're actually going to do it justice. So I'd like to open it up to, to all the athletes here. Uh, what made you guys feel like, yeah, they're actually going to do this justice and I'm going to be willing to, to put my life on the line for this film, Jim? Well, all I had to do was talk to Erickson one time. I mean, we sat down and he started telling me his vision and the fact that he wanted to do everything for real and he wanted to make it. He didn't want it to be a big CGI, you know, robots destroying buildings kind of thing. He wanted to make it the athletes going out in the world and doing what they do best. Basically taking the best action sports athletes from each individual discipline and then just unleashing them on the world to just show what can be done. And when the second he said that, I was like, I'm in. Yeah. And then you said